Hi, David from uh, Tech New World, and today we are looking at the Panasonic LS84 portable DVD player, which came out in 2011. And interesting that Panasonic brought this out probably uh, during the end of the uh, Blu-ray rush, so they were still showing an interest in the lower end uh, DVD market. Uh, and this would have cost around £159, which I guess uh, puts it in competition with a top range DVD and, and sort of entry level, mid level uh, Blu ray player at the time. Um, but then, all said, DVDs, uh, there's always been a, a market for them as uh, there is now. And, and when I think about it, I, uh, when I do buy physical media, and it's not very often because we all have all the streaming services which now exist, uh, but when I do, I tend to buy DVDs because they're cheaper. So, um, is it any good? Um, can we still make use of it today? And is there any use for this in the future? Okay, let's take a closer look at the Panasonic LS84. Not too heavy, all plastic, slightly budget fill, but it's not a problem. Here we have two audio jacks. Uh, so I guess the kids or whoever's sitting in the back of the car can, can both uh, listen at the same time. You've got an audio video out, so that would be useful if you no longer have a DVD player and you want to watch one, you could attach this to your TV. Your power input, classic power block, not too heavy or bulky, which is good because this is port uh, portable. Battery lasts uh, supposedly for seven hours. That's accessible here you don't need to take it off but you can there we go it just pops out now I don't know what type of batteries are in here but I'm sure it is serviceable you've got the details of the batteries which are here 7.2 2100 line battery so uh, the actual the model number there, so you'll be able to change it. I couldn't actually take a closer look because I didn't have the right thread for these screws, but it doesn't matter. They are still working on my particular model, so it doesn't need the service. Clicks back in. So interestingly, um, Panasonic call it the freestyle viewing. So you've got it in this classic style, uh, which is what you'd expect. And then it clicks forward and it can be watched in a flat format. Not too sure what the use of that is. Maybe there's an advantage because of the sun to watch it in this guise because you're, you're sitting and you want to look down. Who knows? You could use it in a tent format but be warned, access to the control buttons is a little tricky, but that may be useful. But I think that the real purpose of uh, this particular uh, format, guys, uh, where it's flat, is this This would have shipped with a car adapter and uh, in order to secure it to the back of a, a car seat, which unfortunately I don't have, um, but that would have been very useful. And uh, Panasonic call it the freestyle viewing. Anyway, let's take a closer look at, at how this actually performs. And I've got a DVD, Planet Earth with Dave and Attenborough. And we're going to pop a video in and actually see uh, what this can do and what it looks like. Okay, let's see this play a DVD on. Volume's about halfway. I'm just going to move it slightly because there's some glare on the screen. I think the resolution would be better if I turn it slightly there. Two speakers.
volume buttons. Now, one thing I noticed, I find this relatively fast. It's fast to load and fast to get to the menus. Actually faster than my home DVD player. So here we are. Let's have a look. Fresh water. Choose a chapter. Let's fast forward to some action. It's got various fast forward speeds. Press play. In their final stages, rivers broaden and flow wearily. Different resolution color. Oh, I guess this is the brightness actually, so daylight is much better. Crank the volume up to maximum. The sound is not distorted and it's reasonably loud, good enough for the back of a car. But if you're listening to this, you're probably going to be using speakers. I do find the colours on this 8 inch screen are slightly distorted. So, not true colour, but it's not a deal breaker. Again, the kids are not going to worry so much and even you just watching a DVD, I think you'll be forgiven, forgiving uh, to this small uh, portable player. These underwater forests are nursery grounds for fish. Let me just ch change the chapter quickly. Oh, let's go back to actually. Again, it's fast. The Mara River snaking across the plain. Going well, back to the beginning. Pole to pole. really easy to use. In this light the screen looks okay. Uh, if there's a lot of bright light out there it's, it's a little harder to see. So fast forwarding. So, moving the screen a little bit can help. Switching off. And if we switch on, what I noticed, like any good DVD player, it should remember where it last was for a quick setup, which is at A+. Plus. So we like that. Um, yeah, really easy to use and responsive. Let's switch it off. Pack it away. There you have it. So another use uh, for this is simply playing your uh, CDs. Uh, let's see what it sounds like. Um, so I'm gonna put in some Buena Vista Social Club. on and this does have good 
um, ability to read lots of different types of media files. The list is, is quite extensive. So if you are, whoa, she launches straight away. If you are launch, uh, copying, uh, not copying, backing up your media, it should be able to read uh, the different formats or MP3, MP4, etc. Okay, unlike the DVD, at maximum volume, the speakers do distort. Sound lacks depth, bass, etc. But it's okay, it's all right, you know, for the kids. Need some portable music. Nice and fast. And you can repeat the track, can you? No, repeat doesn't work. That's it, it's a very simple, simple a CD player, but it does the job. Okay, so what's the view of Tech New Old on this Panasonic LS84 portable DVD player? Well, if you've got the car seat adapter, which would have come with this, then this is a no brainer. Uh, it's a great thing to have because you can stick it on the back of a, a, a car seat and the kids or whoever's in the back can watch films. No brainer definitely worth having it today and possibly in the future as long as you have dvds but then we all have dvds lying around and we probably will for some time uh, to come now otherwise is it worth um, buying one of these or, or keeping hold of one of these well look if you're an occasional watcher of films in let's say a, a coffee shop uh, it's probably uh, worth holding on to this would you take this on holiday with you uh, and put it in your luggage. It's a little bit heavy, and um, so probably not, because you can put your films on your on your tablets or your computers. You can still stream. Um, but you know, if again in a, just a coffee shop, yeah, why not? And and if you don't have a DVD player anymore, then this may be a, a, a great idea to keep in a, a drawer or a, uh, on a bookshelf. It's a very small uh, footprint. I mean, even with the, the power supply. It doesn't take very much space at all. Uh, you're not going to notice it and when you need it, uh, it's there. And as I said, if you don't have a DVD player and you know uh, quite simply you get the, the, the video out uh, um, cable, uh, this could be your DVD player for the occasional times that you want to play a film. If you're a DVD collector and you want to quickly check your stock, no brainer. Uh, so, do I think uh, this still has life? I would say yes. And if you see a cheap one lying around a secondhand shop or a car boot sale, worth picking up. Uh, I think it's got some life left into it and it's not bad. So there you have it, tech new old. We like the Panasonic LS84. Uh, this still has some longevity. Look, thank you uh, for watching and I uh, hope to bring you soon another video with some retro stuff which I've dug up and I'll go through the, the routine of trying to work out whether it's still worth having or it's just a bit of fun from the past but uh, get rid of it. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.